Hello everybody and welcome back to Chef Sherry's Plant-Based Kitchen. It's a nice Saturday here in the Chicagoland area and um, I didn't have a lot of lunch things ready today so I said what can I make for me and Dale for lunch today that would be simple and I found this really interesting easy vegan fried rice recipe from the minimalist baker and although I didn't follow exactly how she did it I did borrow her sauce recipe and I did go ahead and saute some vegetables here on the stove, as you can see. Now, what makes this so simple is if you have frozen peas and carrots, you just dump them in there with a little bit of scallion or onion, and that's really all you need. And then I took um, some tofu, and I used my air fryer to brown it up. I'm going to throw that in. So I think I'll put that in now. And then I made some rice, and I have um, an Instant Pot. So all you do is turn it on, walk away, come back, and it's done. So here's my brown rice that I made. It's ready to go in. So let's add all the rice. And I have a lot of this because we're having company tonight. Dale and I are going to have a little bit for lunch and then we're going to try to make this part of our dinner as well. Um, we're making a huge cob salad for dinner, which is going to be really delicious with some bread and fresh fruit. And of course, I made a little chocolate dessert, some, some fudge. So here's the sauce. I'll show you what it looks like. This literally takes two seconds to put together. These are the ingredients you're going to put into a bowl and stir together. Tamari or soy sauce, a little bit of peanut butter. I use date, date syrup instead of maple syrup. A clove of garlic minced. Some chili garlic sauce, but I used just a little because it was too spicy the last time I tried this. And that's it. I don't use any sesame oil that she suggests. We just do this. All I'm going to do is put this into my fry pan. And I want to get every bit out, so let me grab my spatula here. And we'll put it all in. I'm just going to mix it together. As the vegetables are all done, the rice is done, it's all finished. I just have to combine it. Look how pretty this is. I mean, this could be a dinner, it could be a lunch. And make. I made a double batch, why not, right? So um, hopefully we'll have a little bit of leftovers for later today when our friends come over, they can have a taste of it too. So look how simple that is. Now I know that um, I've had a couple of comments on the YouTube channel that I should be tasting the food, so I'm gonna do that for you today. It's not always possible, unfortunately, like if I'm making burgers and I'm putting them in the oven, I don't want you to wait and I don't have the ability to know how to start and stop videos. This is just live, simple videos. <laughs> right, Dale? That's right. So let me get this going. Looks beautiful. What do you think, Dale? You gonna have some for lunch? Absolutely. Right, let me taste it now. I'll get a piece of tofu in there. And some rice. Okay. Here's my fork. Let's see if it was as good as the last time. Wow. You know, it's really good. But it really did help to cut down on the chili garlic sauce. It still has a kick but it's not burning my mouth off today. So I'll add that as a little bit of a change in the recipe when I post it to limit that amount. But anyway, let me show you what else we're gonna have for lunch. So Dale knows I don't like to throw anything out. So I had some leftover cut up fruit that's getting a little bit old. So we're gonna have a little treat here. We're gonna get the Vitamix out and we're just gonna throw it in our blender. with a little bit. Um, you can use some plant milk. I happen to have some Eden soy milk. I'll use this. You can also throw a little ice in if you want it, but this is gonna be like a, I call it a fruit shake. And we're just gonna blend it. Did I plug it in? Yes, I did. Okay, here it goes. our little treat. We'll call it our little dessert drink. We don't have too much of it left, so we'll each have a little. I'll give Dale more, because I'm nice. <laughs> Actually, we have just about even, Dale, so there we go. And then I had leftover coleslaw, so that's a nice lunch, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. Yeah. So that's it. I'll post the recipe for how to make this really simple 
uh, stir, it's called uh, vegan fried rice, although we're not using oil, so we're not frying it in oil. We're just letting it go with the sauce. And let me know what you think. Have a wonderful day. Looking forward to watching Wimbledon. Well, I haven't watched the ladies match yet. I know we taped it. I want to see, you know, who won. So enjoy your weekend, everyone, and I'll see you next time back in my kitchen. So long.